See, this narrative has its rules, uh, uh, roots in the Nizam era. Uh, we all know that uh, four districts of Karnataka, five districts of Maharashtra and nine districts of Telangana put together was Hyderabad state. It was around 82,000 square kilometers area and it had a population of 1 crore, 1 lakh, 1.01 uh, crore people. The, in the Karnataka part, there was a Dalit leader, scheduled caste leader. His name was Shamsundar. This Shamsundar was a well-read, well-educated man, but a stooge of Nizam. And it was he who started this, you know, clubs all across Telangana and they were known as Jai Bhim clubs. So this right. whole slogan of Jai Bhim came from this man called Shamsundar. Today, Shamsundar is forgotten, but his uh, Jai Bhim slogan stays. And he started talking about Muslim Dalit unity way back in the 1930s and 40s. And he was part of the Nizam government. He and another leader called B.S. Venkat Rao, they very passionately espoused Muslim Dalit unity. B.S. Mm -hmm. Venkat Rao was in fact a minister in Nizam's regime. He was one of the okay. you know representatives of the Dalits. It was then that this whole idea of uh, Hindu, Dalit, Muslim Dalit unity started and Sham Sundar even went to the UN in support of Nizam's right to stay independent of India. So they even went to you know United States. So the Jai Bhim, Jai Bhim, Jai Meem narrative has been there since 1930s and today it has been perfected by uh, Asaduddin Obaisi. And uh, unfortunately, uh, the Dalit community in the, uh, in the Muslim dominated parts are a victim of uh, um, you know, Muslim atrocities. There is a famous case of Jababag where all the Dalits were evicted. All the Dalits, Jababag in the old city of Hyderabad where all the Dalits were evicted. But then it is a kind of a Stockholm syndrome where the you know, victims of atrocities started believing that the perpetrators were their best bet. So that's how MIM has about seven to eight um, uh, um, corporators who are actually Dalit. So this the right. okay. mean narrative um, is still powerful in the old city of Hyderabad. Out of their 30, 40 or 50 corporators, some 78 are uh, Dalits and they're Hindus. And uh, uh, this is how this whole story of Jai Bhim, Jai Meem came up. It has its roots in the 1930s when Shamsundar began this talk and uh, Razakars and the Nizam government promoted this concept of Jai Bhim and Jai Meem way back. And it is there even now in some parts of Hyderabad. And OYC is trying to popularize this elsewhere in the country. Not with uh, much success though.